case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, the Mississippi Supreme Court heard the case of Armstrong v. Armstrong, which involved the interpretation of the state's Slayer statute. The statute prohibits individuals who intentionally cause the death of another from inheriting from the victim's estate. The case arose from the tragic death of Joan Armstrong at the hands of her son, John Armstrong, who suffered from severe mental illness. John was subsequently found incompetent to stand trial and committed to a state hospital. His four siblings subsequently requested that the court void John's inheritance from their mother's estate under the Slayer statute. The court declared the device to John void, finding evidence of his willfulness in the killing and holding that he could not benefit from his mother's estate. John's court-appointed guardian appealed the decision, arguing that the Slayer statute should not apply to individuals with mental incapacity. In response, the Mississippi Supreme Court remanded the case for a hearing to determine John's mental state at the time of the killing and to assess whether he had acted intentionally. The court emphasized that the Slayer statute would only apply if John's actions were proven to be willful and that any changes to the law should be made by the legislature. The case was thus sent back to the lower court for further evaluation of John's mental status and the circumstances surrounding his mother's death. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.